coming off the jetways, you'll walk down the hallway, and these are the escalators you'll come down. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to another Cancun Airport. What to expect 2024. Today, we're coming in at Terminal 4 with Frontier Airlines. Old school hard stand and the bus. Here we are coming in immigration. And looks to be quite busy. Okay, we were wheels down at 11.58 and I am through immigration at 12.54. At so just under an hour, old school hard stand again and the bus to the terminal. I did the E-gates and acquaintances from the plane went through the regular line and they finished at right at the same time I did. And because there was only two gates open at the E-gate, it was no faster going through the E-gates than regular INM agent. And the Turkish Airline 787 filled up a lot of the immigration hall. As always, the Cancun duty free, not a good place to buy anything, grossly overpriced. Be sure that you know your limits if you purchase something at Cancun Duty Free upon arrival. It is on this side of customs, so anything that is required to be declared will have to be declared if you purchased it there at Cancun Duty Free. Here are the baggage terminals. And the bags from my flight are coming in on carousel four. And it is a busy Monday here at Cancun Airport Terminal Four with lots of folks coming and going. Terminal Four is definitely a little bit brighter than Terminal Three. One of the last things to do is to go through customs. And if you get pulled aside to have your bag searched, don't worry. They're nice, professional, they are efficient. They'll look through your bags, check to make sure you don't have contraband, and you'll be on your way in just a few minutes. The only reason to worry is if you have something you shouldn't have. So here we're exiting customs out into the larger hall. These are local flights that come into Terminal 4 here. This is the baggage check for that area.
if you decided to rent a car, this is where you would pick that up and pay a exorbitant fee, I'm sure. And around this corner is where we're going to meet up with the shark tank. Now everyone on the other side of these doors, they're working very hard. Their job is to get you to go to a timeshare sales presentation. I know that that's not for me, but if you want to go to a three hour long high pressure timeshare sales presentation, just talk with one of these nice folks here in the navy blue outfits and they'll make sure you get to where you want to go. But I'm just going to go straight through and straight outside and not listen to anything that they say because, again, their purpose is to get you to go to a timeshare sales presentation. Always pre-schedule your transfer. Never arrive at Cancun Airport without a transfer prearranged to your resort. So if you got here without pre-scheduling your transport, you're going to get stuck with one of these hijacking taxi drivers and you will pay more than double what you should pay. Check out TripAdvisor forums very often the question is asked who are the reliable transport services and experienced folks leave answers there most often if i'm not booking with cheap caribbean or apple vacation we will book usa transfers but this trip i booked with apple vacations and so we're going to find the included transfer service and they are in the blue Hawaiian shirts so if you really need something to drink here's a place to get it the exchange rates not too bad but I'm sure the prices are enormous Dog content. No need for a porter today because I just have my one carry on. That did not take long. against using a ATM here at the airport things are likely to not go as well as you hope there is a convenience store here and security is right at the top of these escalators and so you really don't want to get something here at the convenience store a drink or something because you won't get past security with it so it's best to wait till you get through security. There's plenty of places back there 
pass security to get refreshments. I'm gonna sign off now. I'll see you on the other side of security. Okay, now we're past security. And as always here at Cancun Airport, even Terminal 4, security was very well organized. They had plenty of agents on hand and they were taking care of business. Looking at laptops, making people empty their pockets. And as soon as you go through security, here we are in the tequila tobacco and perfume department of the airport. We are 41 US dollars for a bottle of Grey Goose. Some duty frees around the planet may offer good deals, but that place would not be Cancun International Airport. And so right past Cancun duty free, we're in the terminal, terminal four, the departure lounge with lots of food stands and a lot of people taking up the seats not necessarily eating here is the annual reminder always check these boards gates are not assigned until just a few minutes before departure and if your ticketing agent told you that there was a certain gate assigned, that may or may not be accurate. Always look at these boards. Keep an eye on them. Monitor your flight status. Gate assignment changes and delays or early departures are not announced over the intercom. Look what I found. All right, first let's hang a right after the food court. Let's head this way and see what we can run into. Now this looks like fun. So here is the downstairs area. And this is where I'm guessing we're not gonna go down a jetway. We're gonna have to line up and get on buses to go out to the plane.
let's see if it's possible to do the visit tax here. I guess not. So we're down here in the basement. One hour, five minutes. We board in like 30 minutes. All right, that'll work. And as I have warned in every video and earlier in this video, with an hour and 15 minutes to go before departure, the gate assignment changed from the dungeon, old school hard stand, to an actual gate, gate 63.